did in part one. We painted all the sides of the box and also added the pumpkin buddies on one of the blue sides. Now here's the next side, which means another drama of cat and dog is about to start. So the ones we are making right now are these snack buddies, which is a cat with a can of cat food and a dog with a bag of chips. They look pretty annoyed and the dog is still just his surprise self. As you might notice, the feet are actually here, unlike the last one. That's because the can is actually stuck in the feet. Uh, let's keep going. The dog actually also has this chip stuck in his feet, so obviously we have to keep his feet. But I kind of kept his feet for nothing because guess what? The chips were not even stuck in his feet. So. Even though we kept the feet, um, the image is still a bit wrong. As you can see, the dog and cat are both eating. The dog and the cat might have had a sleepover, but the sleepover was so boring and they are just so bored. So that is why they are just not having it and just eating some snacks to take away the boredom, obviously, because the dog and the cat look okay with eating the snack. I guess eating snacks is the best way for them to fill their boredom. I think that the cat and the dog are pretty excited for the sleepover to be over. After all, can you imagine going to someone's house for a sleepover and not even having fun at the sleepover? I do really like these designs. I think it was a pretty good idea to make the cat really annoyed and the dog surprised, but if it were me, I would probably do it like a little bit differently. Also, as you can see, this white Posca was also not listening to me, probably because that the paint uh, just didn't want to work with the white Posca. Oh, now we're coloring the cure of boredom, which is the snack at the sleepover. Be thankful that the snack is there, or cat and dog would be bored to death. Now I am coloring in his little belly and starting on the dog. Yes, the color is not exact, but I just chose the best color I could find. I think the dog might have been the one who called the sleepover party because he looks kind of sad, honestly, because his eyes are like droopy, possibly because um, he is just sad that the cat didn't like his sleepover party and the end of the sleepover party had just ended in them just bored and eating snacks. So I feel really bad for this dog because this little fellow just wanted to have fun but ended up in complete boredom and sadness. Anyways, he does look really cute though. I bet um, mine is actually not even half as good as the actual model, but I tried. I do like him even though I changed up his face a little tiny bit. The cat is now just starting to have the final touches. He is getting his eyes finished. And at the end, I did add that collar thing that's supposed to be on the cat, uh, but it's still not here because at the time I actually forgot since the cat is usually the star of the show, so only the dog got the medal. But at the end, the cat did get his medal back. As you can see, these eyes are a wreck. We're gonna fix these right up. And here are the final products. I hope you like them. It's just annoyed cat and sad dog. Yes, those next ones are placed right here now. And everyone's bowing to them as usual. So, these are the chicken duck buddies.